Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, mm. Stanley. How are you coming in with this week's Queen Sugar? Yeah, man. Season 6, Episode 2, and Dream With Them Deeply. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't trigger me as bad this week. Not but as badly. I didn't get triggered. But, I'm but, I got, but I got pissed off, and I'm going to say it right off the freaking gate. Billy can carry her ass back to Chicago <laughs> today. She pissed me all the way off. Yeah, because you cussing. Yeah, she pissed me all the way off. She came on there all wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I know y'all were pissed off too. I know y'all were pissed off. It's going to be okay. You need me to rub you down? Could ban the whole family. We can we can see props for that. <laughs> we we've been holding it down yeah, while you in Chicago. You, while you in Chicago, that's what happens in families too. Yeah, it'll be the whole community holding somebody down. Then the little family member will come in and act like they've been doing something from afar. They ain't yeah, been he doing, ain't doing nothing. nothing. He ain't been doing skit. We're gonna get into it. Yeah, we're gonna get into it. But I just wanna let y'all know I'm pissed <laughs> off. Thank you all for everyone that have have ordered a shirt already. Yeah, from Power in Black. The response has been going over well. And if you do order your shirt, make sure you um hashtag it on and hash and um hashtag us on Instagram so we can see y'all in y'all shirts or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um if you're new to the channel, welcome on over here. This is what you get. We, yeah. We're, we're a little raw today because we in a we in some kind of mood. We got something going on. Billy. <laughs> she didn't want to start it all this game. And if you're a family member, y'all used to this. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So we have Mr. Prosper, right? He's at the hospital. The whole family is there. When I say family, I mean yeah, it. The whole family. The whole family is over there. And come to find out that they've put him in a medically induced coma because they don't want any swelling on the brain. So that's their way of keeping the swelling under control and whatnot. <laughs> So, uh, Vi says she's already contacted his daughter. She's getting on the first plane smoking, and she's going to be up over here. I said, you know what? Great, because we need to see this daughter. She yeah. needs to be She needs to be, be brief, brief yeah. on what's yeah. going on with her daddy and whatnot. And unbeknownst to us, she comes in there in straight itch mode. Yeah. And right off All the, day, wrong off the way that she came in there, I said, I don't like her. <laughs> Like Medea said, I don't like her. Soon as she came in, I said, okay, I'm going to give her the benefit. When she had that folder with yeah. them papers in it, yeah. I said, she owns some BS right now. I know it because I've yeah. seen this before. Yep. And she ain't a social worker, so why do you have that many papers on yeah. you? She comes in there and she tells the doctor, I am his only blood relative. I have this, I have that, and this is the insurance that he does have. And then he has a secondary insurance that will pick up for his specialized care. So you get my father the best care that he needs. And no one else is supposed to be getting any of his medical information except for me, the only blood relative around here. So. I'm going to say what I want to say right here, but I get it. I get it. When you, when you got a parent in the hospital... And you think they gon' they gone. I get it. You know, you be in your feelings. But these ain't any old people. He's not strangers. Yeah. These are people that's been in his life for over a um, I said she's been in life over for over 30 35 years. years. And you come in there with that booze kit to people who've been taking care of your daddy. Not not disrespecting him, but taking care of Aunt Vada took him in the house during COVID, make sure he was good, even though he would give her attitude. And here you come off fresh off the plane. With that booze kit. So the family ain't let her have it there, but you can tell that Aunt Vibe wanted to give her, give it to her. Oh, yeah. She won, yeah. But they didn't give it to her just then. So off to the side somewhere. So Aunt Vi, she she's in her position. Let's just say that. She's in the position that she's been placed in to make the or, to make the shots until you get here. Right. So now we have Aunt Vi and we have Billy standing there at Prosper's door. And the doctor comes out and he's telling both of them, listen, I think we should try this high, what was the hydrotherapy where we pretty much bring his, his body, body temperature, temperature down, down yeah. and try to incite some kind of activity <clears throat> so that we could see if we, that will help him bounce back a little more quickly. Yeah. And so the daughter was like, this is a state of the art hospital and this is the best that you can do is to just bring my daddy's body temperature down. So this is when her and our vibe really got into it. Yeah. Our vibe was like, listen, 
at the end of the day, we need to listen to the advice of the doctors. And why in the hell did she say that? Because then Billy goes on to pretty much tell her, you're not his family. You're not his daughter. As much as you think you control things and you run things around here, you don't. I am the one that's going to be able to do this. I, it's what I say and what I do. And pretty much, you know what? Bump all this. From this point on, she banned all of us. All of us. All, all of us. Because I'm a She banned all of too. us. Yeah, that's Uncle Prosper. When, she, when he banned them, he banned all of us. All of us. We should jump up. <laughs> when? When? Now. 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 Right now. Because Nova wanted to slap her anyway. That's the way, way Nova was looking at her. But there's, there's something else with her and Nova. We're going to talk about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because that's some passionate energy right there. But anyway, so Unva was like, hold on, hold on. This ain't even got to be carried like this. And pretty much Unva read her for her rights. It was like, listen, I don't know if she did or not because I'm making this up. But this is what I would say to her. Itch. That, yeah. When your daddy was out here in these streets scared by himself that he was going to die alone in his house, I brought him over to my house, brought him into my unit, yep. fed him, made sure that he was comfortable, made sure that he had somebody to talk to. Because I don't remember Nell seeing where she called him and checked on it. Well, she said that she invited him to come to Chicago. He, he said, don't know you. <laughs> he know us. So if I get on the phone with Nova and pretty much like a grandma do, you, you better, better talk some sis in her. You better get her before I do. Uh -huh. You better talk some sis. That's your girl. So you better get her friends. before I kill her. So long story short, Nova ended up talking, going over there to Mr. Prosper's house where, the, where Billy was over there and pretty much told her, listen, we used to be real good friends. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what the hell you on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but... But let me back up a little bit. Nope. Going forward a little bit. So, yeah, she was like, I don't know what you on right now, but you cannot keep us out of his life. Mr. Prosper is just, just as much as family to us as we are to, to him. So, we are family. He needs to be able to see us. He needs to be able to have his family together when he right. comes out of this. And she said, and plus, you owe me. I'm like, what she owe you? Because she definitely piped down really quick. What she, what she owe you for, Nova? Yeah. I need to know. Mm -hmm. She owe you for. <laughs> yeah. Is it with that little Wayne shit? Lick, 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 Is that what it is? Is that what it is? Because that's the energy I'm sensing. Hmm. We're going we gonna to see it by and by. Uh-huh. Cause she quickly released that uh that that restraint on the family on the whole f on all well, of that's us. that line so we don't you have owe to, me look we'll have to jump on that y'all we can go to the hospital scene oh she still ain't my good gracious yet we still gonna jump because the only reason why she lifted the restraint was because whatever her whatever her and nova got going on it ain't got nothing to do with the family love I know way too many people here <laughs> right now that I didn't know back then. Who the fuck is y'all? That's what was going on. So, so I was like, this, I can say so much about that mm. on a personal level, but I ain't gonna put nobody business out in the street. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't gonna put nobody business out in the street, but it's in mm. So, let's talk about Micah, right? No, you know what? Let's talk about Charlie. So, Charlie is out there where she's at, right? We see D Davis East this week. So, I guess they don't they don't buck the sucked in the dark. And, so long, yeah. And he probably still in that cabana stretched out trying to catch yeah, himself. Yeah, So, she's now at meetings or whatever. And her name is being tossed around for state senator and whatnot. So, this gentleman is talking to her and was like, you know what? I'm going to put this out there. But she ain't going to... Like, they like they told other thing at... Um, like, they told Lulu on Power... I'm going to put this on table, but once I leave here, the offer don't stand no more. Right. Pretty much that's what he told us. He don't think about it too long. And then, if you got some skin in your past, and you the need to... in your closet, let me know. Let me know right here and there because we need to go ahead and clean this skin up before we, we take you public. Because they're going to dig up everything that it is to be known about you. Yeah. So she sit up there talking about some no skeletons here. I was like, Davis. I was like, you were just in the cabana with the skeleton. I said, you got a, <laughs> you got a seven foot skeleton yeah. in that cabana. So did you forget that all that was public news? 
about all the cheating and with the with the and women, the you know, all that stuff, all that was public. And now y'all back together and y'all doing it in the dark. Oh yeah, that's coming out. Yeah, you. Oh yeah, it's coming out. You should you just know. go and decline that that offer right there. Yeah, or at least tell him. Tell him because he said we can help you out if you let us know now. Yeah, yeah. So Micah, Micah's um at college or whatever, and. His frat brother is kind of just talking to him, but Micah ain't connecting yeah. because Micah is suffering from P yeah, PTSD, mm -hmm. and he's everybody that passes him, he's he's going back and forth between what he's gone through, what he just witnessed, Mister Prosper just go through, and whatnot. So his frat brother pretty much was like, "Listen, if you need somebody to talk to, I'm here and whatnot." But y'all, that's gonna be the new one. I already called that one, so. At this point, you know that Avi told the family, don't let Charlie know nothing about none of this. Let her do what she doing, what she at, and when she get here, she'll You'll be, know about it. we'll brief her on what's going on. But I ain't agree with that. I agree with that because I, she needs to be clear-headed until she doesn't need to be clear-headed. <laughs> Charlie needs to know. She needs to Spread know after, after she don't dealt with business, then she can know. That's how you protect family. We'll agree to disagree. <laughs> Mr. Prosper lived with Charlie too. So she need to know. So you just gonna ruin everybody's day? No, it ain't about ruining no day. Anyway. Let's say with somebody close to you, something happened to them. Yeah. And you're on a, a business trip. Mm -hmm. And they didn't tell you until you got back. Yeah. You would be pissed. I, I would understand. I've been in that position. You would understand, but you'd be pissed. I would be pissed initially. But remember, I had to do that with my brother. Remember, my brother went to the military with a basic training when she had an aneurysm. Yeah. And she... I had to keep that from him so that he could focus on what he was doing. As long as she was okay and she was stable, I wouldn't tell him. I said if she started declining, then I would pull him. But until then, and he said to the day, he said, I appreciate it. Because he said I couldn't have made it through that if I knew that was on me. Yeah, I forgot about that. So you got a good point. You got a yeah, good point. Yeah, so sometimes you got to But they still shouldn't let her know, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, you ain't going to let me live. You ain't nah, going to let me live on that nah, one. But anyway, so, so Micah ends up contacting Charlie. And he acted as if he wanted to just check on her to see how her meeting was. And Charlie's she mama ran right, on, 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 ran right on through that bush, kid. She said, you, 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 nah, you you're not me for calling that. me. What's going on? So he said, did Auntie Nova call you? She was like, what? So he was like, Mr. Prosper got beat up. And she was like, <laughs> what? And he in a coma. <laughs> what? I was like, first of all, Micah. You kind of embellished that a little bit. You embellished the yeah, hell out of that. <laughs> He really did get beat up. He got pushed on he the ground. He got pushed down. Yeah. But she was, he, he was talking like somebody put the one, two on him. Yeah, man. like he got robbed or yeah. something. I was like, really, Michael? So she said, I'm on the first plane. Plane's out of here. And he was like, no, just, just, do, just, I'm on the first plane out of here. I said, Charlie coming. So Charlie, Charlie got right off of the plane and went straight, straight to the on. hospital. So she don't know none of this is going on. She don't know she ain't supposed she to be She don't know nobody restraining her. None of that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so she rolls up on Parker with the, hey, oh, my God, it's so nice to see you. And you can see Parker's demeanor like, hey, girl. <laughs> like, okay, you, is this a trick or, like, you going you gonna to one, two piece me? So she was like, you know, how's things going? And so then Parker hits her with the, I've put some boundaries in place so that my father can rest and that we can just deal with this very clearly and between Wait, us. Wait, you call her Parker? Damn, I did Billy. call her Parker. Billy. Billy. I was like, because I was like, you could. Billy. Because she looks like a Parker. Yeah. So, Billy. She's like Parker that, that we was waiting on after the next season before COVID for her yeah. and Charlie to go head to head, which we still ain't seen that yet. We still waiting on that, but that's, that's a whole nother deal. Parker. Yeah, she can really stay where she is. Yeah, Parker left St. John. So, so mm -hmm. Billy hits her with that information. And so Charlie was like, so you know Charlie reads you real quick and real swiftly. Uh -huh. And she said, hmm, okay. She said, you know what? I was in this position too. I was around the world trying to gain things that didn't mean anything. And I missed my father's yes. final moments. 
And I hope that you're a little bit more fortunate than I am. And pretty much, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. So make sure that you're holding on to it and you're grasping it for what it is. But also, make sure that you're considering your father in and what, this as well. And, and what he wants. And what he wants. And we are family to Mr. Prosper. We are his family as well. So make sure that, that the boundaries that you say you're setting isn't just control. Yeah. Because she said a lot of mine was control issues. Mm -hmm. So then Billy mm -hmm. hits her with the, well, maybe I'm not the only one that um, has control. Maybe he was controlling me. So now we're starting to see that Mr. Prosper and his daughter, it's something there. Yeah. It's Some, something it's, there. Yeah. And now it's almost like, her anger is misdirected. Mm -hmm. And now this is her opportunity to hold on to daddy by herself. It doesn't matter how he feels about her, anybody else. This is what I want and this is how I'm going to do it. And I'm like, what happened? Cause, cause she I, mean, I, I mean, you know, as pissed off as I am with her, I could tell she didn't want to lose her daddy. No. Yeah, no. so that that's that's kind of proof right there that there's like something missing that, that I guess she want to try to get closure on. But yeah. it still don't mean you come busting your uh -huh. ass like a fool like that. Don't but I like what Charlie said to her. She said, you know what? When it comes to family relationships, nobody knows better than the people that's in it. Right. And she walked away. I said, boom. Just yep. like that, Charlie. So Charlie was like, hey, I don't know all the details, but all I'm saying is consider what I said. But she, but you could tell what she said kind of resonated because it seemed like her and Charlie was kind of running in the same circle. I don't know what what? They're Chasing kind of success. Yeah. Yeah, and forgetting everything else. Yeah, they're kind of the yeah. same person. So, we have <laughs> Doll and Ralph Angel. They went to go get that sonogram or whatever. So, long story short, we're going to have us a great niece. Which y'all going to name the baby? What her name going to be? Her name going to be Pearl. Because we got blue. Yeah, we got blue. Pink. She going to be a cute little. I miss blue, y'all. Do y'all yeah. miss blue? So, um... So, so wait, he, so he having a good time up in DC, man. This is the go in the DMV. You gotta have a good time over here. Mm hmm. <laughs> Keep an eye on. Let's pray for our little baby. Make yeah. sure he don't get caught up over there in the DC. So Ralph Angel was like, you know what? I promised Mr. Prosper that when we get a picture of the sonogram, I was gonna bring it over there to him. So he held on to the sonogram. He was like, I'm gonna take this over there to Mr. Prosper, or whatnot. So Darla and Ralph Angel actually starts talking about her birthing plan. And because they are in Coat Welsh, not them, we in Coat Welsh too. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so she was talking. They were talking about how the hospitals are super stretched, not enough beds. And then if you are in the hospital, do you really want to be there? Because do you want to be that exposed to the coronavirus or whatever? So she came up with. She said, "How about a home birth and we just hire a doula." And he was like, who the, uh, do who? Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, like a midwife. And I was like, yeah. I was, I was like, first, like, why do you just say a midwife at first? Because <laughs> they are different. A doula and a with midwife. They are, well, I don't know what a doula is. Diana's a doula. Who? Diana. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. I mean, what's different? I mean, what's the difference in what they did? They both do the same thing? Kind of. It's almost like a LPN. And a CNA, so, they do the same skit, but one is really specialized. Someone it? spent more money in school than the other one. That's what you're saying? I'm not saying that. And I'm not going to say, scratch all that. Because somebody in the comments is going to be like, no, this is what it is. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Doodle. Help deliver babies. <laughs> Got it. I explain, explanation right there. So, he was like, you know what? If <clears throat> this is what you want, this is what you get. We, we all here for it. But if anything was to go wrong... To the hospital we, we go. go. No argument. Oh, the, the doula gonna make sure that that happens too. Now, don't get it twisted now. There's always a plan B to the plan A when it comes to home births and water births and stuff like that. Did they have ambulance outside on that? No, that's only if you like... Um, high risk? No, that's only... Well, if you really high risk, they're not they even gonna do. consider that. But if you like... Um, um, the celebrities and whatnot, um, Jocelyn Hernandez and all them, then, you yeah, know, you stuff like that. that. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Got so, enough zeros behind your name. Yeah, I got you. So, the real spot. The real spot is finally coming into fruition. Yeah. So, we have the news coming through. 
They gonna they gonna feature old oh, Hollywood up on the news so that we could get some eyes and ears on what he's about to do. I like his little spot. I love the the masculine vibe of it yeah. all. I love I like the, the war rounds. room. The war room. The real the, world. I like that the brothers come together face to face and hash it out, man. And hash it out. Yeah. I said okay, but here's the thing. Um, I was supposed to be there with him while he's doing all of this. She do snuck her hind parts over there to the um, hotel room. And, well, it's that motel room. Let me get Yeah, motel. <laughs> and we, thankfully, Jimmy Dale went behind oh, yeah. that door. But who it's, this lady? It's the lady that who she's helping this? out that's running from her husband or boyfriend or her baby's father. Because he's beating on her. But I'm like. Why is you hiding there from Hollywood? Yeah. So who is this? And why haven't y'all went to the police? Well, no, don't, my. Don't worry about that. Yeah, the only world. Yeah. You um. So y'all fill me in. Do y'all know? Like, did we miss something? Like, who yeah. is this? Because at first, like y'all was saying last week in the comments that y'all thought it was the girl that she is that she uh, that's, rescued. That's not from her. um Jimmy Dale, but that ain't her. That's not her. Uh, that ain't her. Uh uh. And then I'm like, then somebody said, well, maybe it's um Hollywood's ex-wife, and I'm like. No, nah, Kyle was ex wife. She died. Did she die? Mama, mama, he was mama. He was taking, going back and forth, taking care of her, cause for I guess for her dish. I thought she died, right? I don't think she died. Did she die, y'all? You know, we lost a whole year, so we <laughs> we don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but it wasn't the ex wife that we saw. Nah, not unless cause she was dark skin. Yeah, not unless it's a couple of them. But it was our girl. You know, she don't act it in every goddamn thing. But yeah, so. She's panicking and she's frantic because her son has sent a um, text message to the father. So she was so afraid that he was going to be able to trace where they were in the hotel and come and find them because they're on the run from him. Well, Unvi came through and luckily enough, the Wi-Fi sucks in the uh, motel and the message was never sent. So she asked on I said, listen, can you talk to my son and let pretty much reinforce the importance of not communicating with his father right now because he don't really understand. So Unvi did that and then the little boy was like, uh, you know, would you mind staying for dinner with us? Because of course Unvi been bringing food by. And she was like, you know, well, I have somewhere else to go. And the little boy was like, but we don't really have, have, no we don't have to... nobody over here. And I said, don't you don't let. Don't you fall for the okie doke. Don't you let their you know, busted up relationship this fuck is an up yours. important opportunity for, for Hollywood. You know he want his lucky charm to be present. So then she talked about some, well, I guess I can't stay for just a little, little bit. little bit of corned beef hash. If you don't take that corned beef and put a fork in your mouth and just go on about that dough. Let me tell y'all something about corned beef hash right Oh, here. here we go. When I first met the queen, man, she put me up on game. She used to take the the English muffins, cut them in half, take the hash, corned beef hash, and put it on top. What? Well, she cooked the corned beef hash in, in, in fried, the, off. fried off with some eggs missing in there, some cheese, and whatever else she's, and put it on an English muffin and put a piece of and, cheese on top. And, and toast it. And put it in the toast oven. What? <laughs> But anyway, I just yeah. Had, uh, yeah, but anyway, yeah. Hood. <laughs> yeah. Real good. So, um, yeah. So, she went in the, um, I went in the bathroom and called Hollywood and left him this message talking about something, a lie. Talking about the, the plumbing, plumbing at the diner is bucked up. So, I'm going to be late, but I'm going to be on my way over there. Well, the next time we saw her in Hollywood, they was at the house. And Hollywood was like, where you been? Because I went by the diner and it, it was, was dark. dark. She, she was goes, like, oh, we really cross, man. We, we crossed. But when I went there, they said you was already. He said, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm about ready to come on TV. Come on, so, sit down. So, and then he was like, oh, yeah, I look good. He said, well, maybe I didn't need my lucky charm after all. I'm right. Don't you mess up that good man because I know some single women that I'll hook him up with. I sure will. So we done been down this road with you before. Treating uh, Hollywood like that. And you didn't tell your last name either. We still on uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I forgot all about that. Mm -hmm. I'm still on it. So like like uh, my high school teacher said, you you, you skating on thin ice. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, mm, I, don't, I don't know what the hell going on. So let's go ahead and talk about. Product. But she going to have to come clean though. Yeah. She going to have to keep knowing she lying. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you 
when when the lie catches up with you, you know, you think about all the other times. They go that, back, 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 back. Okay, where you been? Yeah, and who you doing it with? But I I, I can't wait to come clean because I want to know who this chick is. Man. And why are you hiding? Why, and why are you putting your relationship on the line for this chick? Do you yeah. owe her something? Yeah. She fronted you eight ball or something? Like, what the hell is going on right here? I don't know. So let's go ahead and talk about Miss Nova. I have a feeling that Nova's gonna have a little little love interest with this with this guy and whatnot. But Nova <clears throat> got a lot going on. Well, when does not when Nova doesn't have a lot she going on. She always got something going on. But now they trying to cancel Nova. Cancel yeah. Nova boy. Hashtag <laughs> cancel. And this is what we said from the get go. It's not that we are totally against it. I don't understand it. I don't understand activists that are for one cause, but their personal lives are different. Mm -hmm. It's always been confusing to me. So she's talking to this guy, and I can't remember his name, but she's talking to him about this hashtag because he could tell that she's all frazzled and whatnot. And he gave it to her straight. He was like, when people love your work, they want to make sure that your work and who you are are the same, same. person. Yeah. So... It's, it's a valid concern. Right. So when people say cancel Nova Bordelone, it's almost like you live, you, you speak one thing, but you live another. And she was like, but why is it so complicated that who I love is different than what I speak of? I, that's why I said I've always been confused about it because I'm like, how do you balance that book? Yeah. Like, and then to be in the relationship with them, it's almost like living in a nightmare sometimes. Cause yeah. You talking about my people 24 7 in a negative way, and I got to sit here and hear this skit. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't know how that, <clears throat> I don't know how that works. But anyway. Uh, hey, hey. Yeah, I, hey. This is what we got going on over yeah. here. Yeah, we, this yeah, is we got no conflict. No, we got no <laughs> conflict, man. Uh, look, long as we understand, we good, we good. <laughs> so. What else we gonna talk about? So, Ralph Angel. Oh, this was this 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 was a moment right here. Yeah. So, um, Darla had asked <clears throat> Ralph Angel to go and get her pills from the pharmacy because they closed at seven. But the next time we saw Ralph Angel, his butt was over Where at the, the hospital. hospital. I said, about to lose his mind. I said, oh, I feel him though. <laughs> I said, did you have to go pick yours up from the from the state hospital and down to the to the discount pharmacy? That's why you at the hospital. Trust me, every state Say hospital. Say more about that. Oh yeah, well you go get that that medicine for a dollar. <laughs> so he gets in the room and he sees Mister Prosper's bed empty. empty. And it's him. almost like he's been made up and just waiting for the next person. Yeah, like he gone. Like he gone. So Ralph Angel, he's sitting there, he's just going through all the emotions, and I'm like, boy, you better act your hell. So he's just going through it, and he's backing up, and he's got his head on his <laughs> head, and you can, when that lip get through, and that cribble. <laughs> I said, oh no, Ralph, don't do it, because I can't watch that man cry. And next thing we know, we see Mr. Prosper come up out the back, he probably was in the bathroom somewhere, he said, Ralph Angel, what's wrong well, with you? you? And Ralph Angel looked at me, he was like, oh. Mr. Prosper said, but when, when Ralph came in there, it reminded me of, of uh, about my daddy. My daddy was in the hospital here uh, oh my in God. Richmond, and it was his uh, day to leave, and I had to go pick him up. So he called me, hey, son, you come on down to pick me up? Yeah, yeah, I got you, man. So I go and rush down to the hospital, going up to there, and I look. I'm in the room. I'm like, what in the heck is my daddy? That beard all made up just like Mr. Prosper. So I, I went to one and I said, have you seen my, my, my daddy? <laughs> and she was like, yeah, he, had, he left out of here, but I don't know where he went. <laughs> so I'm rushing back downstairs like, what the hell did my daddy went? <laughs> and I went back downstairs. He's sitting on the curb. I said, I said, dad, why were you sitting out on the curb? Why you ain't up in the room waiting? He said, he said, I came out there just can't decide to change their mind and said, I got to stay here another night. <laughs> I remember you called me. You said that. You ain't gonna believe it. Daddy was on the curb. I said, where else would he be? <laughs> where else would he be? And the worst, the worst, and when I was taking him home, one of my goddamn ties on the car blew out on the interstate. And mind you, daddy just had heart surgery. Hey, daddy just had heart surgery. Yep. 
Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. Miss that man, man. Yeah, we do. So, uh, so uh, Ralph Angel was like, Mr. Prosper, he said, I came by to bring you a picture of my baby girl. He was like, I'll try to tell you, I will put this in my pocket just like you used to do Billy's. This is where Mr. Prosper was like, and maybe you'll be a better father, father to her than I was. I was to mine. And I said, right. hmm, what the hell happened? Right. And he gets to tearing up. And Ralph Angel was like, but we got time, Mr. Prosper. Yeah. We got time to fix this. And I'm sitting here like, Mr. Prosper, do you know your daughter is there? Like, did you come <laughs> out of this and she's at your house and you don't know she there? Like, I'm, I got so many questions right now. Gotcha. So yeah, cause that we don't even know if he yeah, cause like, we don't know if he knows she's there. Right. So, you know they're having that moment, they having that hard to talk, and they both are crying. And Ralph Angel is hugging Mr. Prosper. He's crying, and he was like, "I love you, Mr. Prosper." He's like, "I love you, you too, too, son." And when he called him son, son, yeah, yeah, I was I was done. I yeah. was done for. I was done for. Yeah. Cause if you know those relationships back in those days, but powerful when. When you have best friends that are best yeah. friends, mm -hmm. the kids are everybody's kids. Right. They, oh, this is my best friend's son, but this is my <clears> son, too. Yeah. It's like that. <laughs> see, see, it ain't like that no more. See, it ain't like that no more. See, see, back in the day, if you was over one of your parents' good friend's house or your aunt's house or anybody in the family, they just say family friend, and you show your A, yeah. oh, they got permission to whoop your to A. Whoop your a. And if they and don't, they might not be yeah, friends no more. Yeah, right. <laughs> so he was over your house shooting nope. off and you ain't whoop his head? Yep. Dumb, yeah. But yeah. they don't make life back now. They, they, uh, now they ready to fight. Uh-huh. You better not put your hand on my kid. Mm -hmm. Well, you know. But I get it because, you know, everybody don't, don't have... Don't whoop their chum. Right. Yeah, so I get it. So if that's what you like, I definitely respect that. But, uh... I ain't got no kids, so I don't have a dog but that, But that did keep some of us out of jail, though. Because <laughs> you know we did some certain skit. <laughs> Your tail's gonna be what? My mama still talks about to this day how I would be dead if it weren't for my granddaddy. That's right. He said you for a minute ain't hey, woman, didn't he? Yeah, my granddaddy did not let my mama touch me. But I, I, she was washing her hair in the sink. And, you know, back in the day, they didn't believe in uh, monitoring their hot water tank. It was on hell. It didn't matter. My mama did something to me, and I turned the cold water off while she was under the sink of scald or scalp. That and ain't funny. It's you, not funny, but that ain't, yeah. that's some evil skit. Yeah. That's my that's that Haitian skit coming yeah. out of me, and um, so I ran and I ran in between my granddad and my grandma, and my granddad was like, "You can't touch her because she don't know what she's doing." <laughs> yeah, you did. Because why you turn off the cold water, not the hot, if you didn't know what she was doing? You trying to say I'm evil, B? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the second one I'm saying. The dirty, dirty sound. Two up, two down. Holla.